Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, I am going to show you the steps to set up automatic certificate enrollment in Active Directory for computer certificate using group policy. Remember, this is a test environment created in VirtualBox so you can have an idea about the configuration steps. In the last video, we have seen the steps to deploy Enterprise Root Certification Authority on Windows Server 2019. We are using the same test lab which we have used in the last video. We have one Windows Server 2019 server which is also domain controller for mylab.local domain and on that server we have deployed Enterprise Root Certification Authority. We have one more virtual machine which is Windows 10. That computer is a part of our Active Directory domain and on that computer already I have logged in as a domain administrator. Okay, let's go back to our domain controller. Now the first thing which we need to do is let's open group policy management console. But before we do that, let me show the certification authority console first. Let's click on tools and select certification authority. Let's expand our CNN and let's click on certificate templates. Here you can see certain certificate templates are there. By using these certificate templates, our certification authority can issue certificate to clients. Now here you can see we have a one certificate template with the name computer and as you can see the intended purpose are client authentication and server authentication. So we are going to use this certificate template for our client computer. Now I am going to minimize this console and before we do that, let's click on issue certificate. Here you can see we have only one certificate and that is issued to our domain controller. Fine. Let's minimize it. Let's click on tools and let's open group policy management console. Here you have to decide where the GPU should be linked. If you want only a bunch of clients to be configured for auto enrollment policy, Create and link the GPU to that OU where those clients computer accounts are stored. Or if you want the policy to apply all clients computer in your entire domain, then create and link the GPU to the root of the domain. For this demo, we are going to apply the policy on all client computers in our domain. So now I am going to select our domain which is my local. Let's right click on it and select create a GPU in this domain and link it here. Here you have to specify one meaningful name to your group policy object. Here I am giving a name auto enrollment for computer certificate GPU. Let's click on OK. Fine. Let's select the GPU which we have created. Let's right click here and select edit. It will open group policy management editor console. Let's maximize it. Now we are talking about computer account, that's why we need to modify the policy under computer configuration. Let's expand the policies. Let's select Windows settings. Expand it. And under Windows settings, we need to click on security settings and then we need to expand it. Here we have a public key policy. You need to select it. Here are the plenty of policies are there. Now the first thing which we need to do is we need to set up the auto enrollment policy and for that we need to modify this settings certificate services client auto enrollment let's double click on it here as you can see the configuration model is not configured so we need to configure it i'm going to select enable and here i'm going to select renew expired certificates update pending certificates and remove revoke certificates as well as i'm going to select the second checkbox Update certificates that use a certificate template. Now I'm going to click on apply and OK. So now we have successfully set up the policy for certificate services client auto enrollment. This configuration is not enough. We have to tell the clients what type of certificate templates they can request and this can be done by creating a certificate request setting. So let's modify the settings. Under public key policy, you need to click on automatic certificate request settings. Right click on it and select new and select automatic certificate request. 
it will start a new wizard let's click on uh, next button now here these are the certificate templates which we can configure now for this demonstration we are going with the computer template already i have mentioned earlier that we are going to use computer certificate template let's select it and let's click on next let's click on finish and that computer certificate template will be listed here so now we have certificate request settings configured as well uh, let's close this group policy management editor console and i'm also going to close this group policy management console as well now let's test it and see if it is works on our client computer or not we have configured the settings for our domain controller as well because we have linked that gpu to our domain level so first thing which i'm going to do is let's manually update group policy on our domain controller first let's open command prompt and at the command prompt we need to run command gp update slash force let's press enter key okay as you can see the group policy has been successfully updated on our domain controller but the first thing which we need to test is let's go to our client computer where we want to test the policy as already i mentioned that already i have logged in as a administrator account on this computer because normal standard user doesn't have a permission to see computer certificates on windows 10 client computer first of all we need to open mmc console let's press windows r key and type mmc command let's press enter key let's click on file tab and select add and remove snappins you can also use the shortcut command control m now here i'm going to select certificates click on add here it is asking us that which snap in you want to add user account service account or computer account we are going with the computer account let's click on next and finish let's click on okay let's expand certificates let's click on personal and here you can see the personal folder is totally empty because the policy which we have configured is not yet updated on our client computer so we have to manually update the group policy on our client computer for that we need to open command prompt and let's run command gp update slash force let's press enter key okay as you can see group policy has been successfully updated let's close this command prompt and now i'm going to click on this refresh button on mmc console now here you can see now we have a certificates let's click on it and this is a certificate here you can see it is issued to ws10-cli01.mylab.local this is the host name of our windows 10 client computer and which is issued by mylab-ws2k19-dc01-c which is the name of our enterprise root certification authority let's double click on it and here you can see it is telling us that you have a private key that corresponds to this certificate and this certificate is valid for one year let's click on okay since this is group policy you will have to wait between 90 to 120 minutes for the policy to get in effect on all your client computer after that all clients are affected by this group policy object will auto enroll for a computer certificate from your internal certification authority and going back on our domain controller let's go back to our certification authority management console let's uh, click on issue certificate let's select refresh and here you can see those certificates are there see remember we have also configured auto enrollment policy and that's why here you can see other certificates are also issued by our internal certificate to our domain controller domain controller directory email replication domain control authentication Kerberos authentication; those are the certificates which are currently assigned to our domain controller. But the most important thing is here. Here you can see that certificate is there, which is assigned to our client computer, and here you can see the certificate template, which is a computer. So this is the way how we can set up automatic computer certificate enrollment in Active Directory using Group Policy. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions and suggestions related to this video feel free to post in comment section thank you all